Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial on iPhone development. This one's going to continue a series on web services and using the internet to add and change values to your application. Today we're going to use plists. Plists are property lists, which allow you to modify dictionaries and arrays, which is very handy for updating live content to your, say, table view. So we're going to start by making a table, sorry, window-based application. Same as always, let's call it plist tutorial, doesn't even matter what it's called, and save. Okay, say as always, going to quickly make our, um, our application. People give a about this, but it's good to get the habit of doing this by hand. No nib, uh, UI table view controller, next, uh, table controller, grand, Very quickly, just import table controller property non non atomic retain UI navigation controller nav and more property non atomic retain table controller view controller. I have this template made in some of my tutorials and a few other um, uh, GitHub files, but it's always nice to do it very quickly. Just remember what you're doing. View controller and nav are now made. Uh, view controller equals table controller lock in it. Nav equals UI navigation controller a lock in it with root view controller, view controller self dot window add sub view nav dot view and we are all set up go to table controller and set the title view to load self dot title equals p list oops string p list doesn't matter if you can't see it just data string no matter what okay and done that should load our table view controller called plist just to make sure everything's set up. Perfect. Okay. Now, what you want to do next is click anywhere, new file, eh, new file, resource, and property list. Let's call it um, array. No, drinks. Okay. Drag the plist doesn't matter to get it out of the way. Now, in your plist, right click on the screen, add row, and call it ugh, root, doesn't matter, and change the type to, so zoom out, array. Perfect. Now, we're going to add to the array. Uh, let's call this sex on the beach. Let's add another one. Let's call it Pina Colada. Perfect. And one more. And call it Mojito. Mojito, maybe it doesn't really matter. Perfect. Now, you might think this is all done, but one very, very annoying thing about one of the updates. I'll show you now. This should be an array, but it's not. It's actually a dictionary. So you want to show in Finder. Right click, open with. Uh, use whatever text you use and you'll see here it's actually a dictionary delete dictionary tag and you can delete the tag for root as well and save okay now if you try to do something with that without taking that tag away you would have had an error or a null value so now we can actually use this. First of all, we want to do some cleanup, remove these useless comments. Okay, now I'm gonna first of all show you to use locally and then show you to use it globally. By globally I mean internet. First thing first, we have to make two arrays. So property non atomic retain NS mutable array um array local property non atomic 
retain NSBW array array Earl. Fantastic. M file synthesize array local and array Earl. Which way you do it? Does really matter? Perfect. Okay. Now you have to specify which is coming from which. So. First of all, in a string path equals ns bundle main bundle init sorry path for resource that's the one array no call it drinks anyway drinks of type p list so. As it says in the tin, it's a main bundle, path resource, drinks, that we call our plist, of type plist. Not too bad at all. So now what we have to do is array local equals ns mutable array alloc oops, in it with contents of file path. How easy is that? Now let's utilize that a bit more into our table view. Let's remove these annoying useless comments. Number of sections one return array local count and very quickly cell dot text label dot text equals array local object index index path dot row done so what that's going to do now is that's going to read in all our nice little um, p lists into one place and use them and of course we allocate two nice things which are array local release and then array earl release okie doke now it's run on the simulator. Hope this should have no errors whatsoever. There you go. All loaded from a P list. Now, to prove this can be changed easily, I'm not going to do it here, I'm going to do it in the internet one. Now, I've already made one on my server. It's the same as this P list, it's an array with these. Now, I'm going to load this, which is that this URL, into my file. So, we're going to comment out. Well, we'll leave array local there, but we're going to use array earl instead. So we'll leave those two calls there and just make a new one. So ns, yeah, wrong button, ns earl, it's called earl, equals N, ns earl, earl with string. And then this is my um it's where my PS is stored on my server. And then array Earl equals feck off. Array Earl equals in this mutable array a lock. Why is this keyboard annoying me? A lock in it with contents. No, I think I made a mistake already. No, I haven't. Contents of Earl, that's right. Earl. There we go. Now we're going to replace array local with array Earl and array local with array Earl. And we're going to make a quick change to the server. Oh, wait, these are actually different. Let's call it lemon. That's the wrong one. Lemon drop. And let's make a new one. Let's call it. I don't know. Let's call it dead donkey. Dead donkey. You ever had a cocktail called dead donkey? I certainly haven't. That's now saved. Let's just check if it's now updated our list. 
Yep, dead donkey string, perfect. Now we've allocated the array Earl to be our self index. Array Earl count, perfect. Now if we recompile. There we go. Mojito, lemon drop, drop, and dead donkey are the exact same as are on my server. As you can see, that's my Earl. I can change it again if you want to prove it does work. It's called drop the dead donkey. This has been saved onto an extreme host server. Save the file. Then recompile the app. And there you go. Another new plist edition. Now I haven't done anything like add images to these to open a new view like done in the other tutorials, but this shows you how easy it is to use plist to modify live content of an app. I could have put this on a new view so when the, re the view just even reloads this will change, it'll be there rather than recompile, but it's the same difference. So I hope this made some sense to you and the code will be on uh, GitHub, you download and view. If you want to make your own plist on a server, just go on to extreme host um, dot com and just make a server, upload a plist or even just play with a local file. It's very easy and very very handy. Hope this helped. Take it easy.